Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Village. This is episode 2. Over. So last time, Ethan's wife was killed by Chris Redfield and his unmarked goons, and then we were left stranded. If there are any survivors out there, come to my in the European countryside house near the fields. and ended up at this survivors? spooky werewolf village. And that's about all that's happened so far. So we fought two werewolves, and they proved to be quite bullet sponges. I don't know if that's just because of the difficulty, or because they're always like that, even on normal. So we fended off another one in here, and I guess now we have to find where Louise's house is. And uh, we have a map. Oop. And helpfully, it looks like everything is marked on the map that we've encountered. Even that lockpick back there, so it'll be easy to backtrack for this stuff later. From what I've heard, the village actually serves as kind of a hub, so we will be coming back here at some point. Alright, so... There's these two houses here that we haven't checked, and a gate up there, so I guess we'll head that way. I hear more werewolves. Well, I see more werewolves. Kind of hanging out, I guess. But let's unlock this gate back here. I'm sure there's going to be a reason to unlock this, like, hey, we're going to need to run through here while being chased. So, I'm going to guess if I go over to that building, they will jump down. That guy's, like, sneaking away back there. <laughs> Herb. Uh, do we have anything we can craft? Can't craft any bullets, but we can craft another first aid med. So that's good. I think our health is doing, yeah, decently. As long as I keep blocking those hits, I think we'll be all right. Okay, here they come. Let's just casually search this house while they're locked out. Ooh, hello. 1897. I thought we were just gonna get that double barrel shotgun from before. Well, it looks like we got a regular pump action. Pump action shotgun commonly used for hunting. Well known for its stability and reliability. So yeah, you can see that clearly there is an upgrade system that will be able to make these stronger later. And I think you can also get mods. I don't know if those are the upgrades or if they're a separate thing, but there's mods that you can slot in. Oh, that's the knife. I want to examine the pistol, because I realized we didn't do that last time. The Lemmy. A small, easy-to-use semi-automatic pistol with average firing power. Yeah, so it's probably not very good. I'm curious if this uses, because so much of this is inspired by Resident Evil 4, if this uses the logic that... Flower bags. Yeah, fuck that guy. I'm going to say the logic that you can use any of these weapons to the end of the game if you upgrade them instead of having to switch, because RE4 literally doesn't have, like, any bad weapons except maybe some of the pistols. But almost everything in that is viable from start to finish if you keep upgrading it. Is this guy actually chasing me? Yes, he is. Time to go. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know if we're just supposed to keep avoiding them or actually start fighting them. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take that as the fact they keep respawning. I don't know how I blocked that guy. Oop. Shotgun ammo. Let's reload our guns. Oh, we have a chance. Okay, there's an explosive barrel here, so maybe we wait till they break in and then shoot it. Actually, they're gonna get through there first. Never mind. Oh, I actually killed him. We got some lay. Shit. Uh, I clipped me. Oh, come on. He hit me when I was that far up the ladder. <laughs> okay, uh, we're on the roof now, and the village is on fire. So this is kind of a siege. Hold on. I think we can knock him off the... Shit. I was going to say we knock him off the roof with the shotgun. 
Nope, he didn't actually fall off. Shit. Yeah, so the problem here is it's hard to run away and block, because you have to actually be looking at them to block. Okay, there was another house this way. I got stuck. Oh. You're kidding me. Something big is lurking. That Shit. door doesn't open. Okay. Some chem fluid. Okay, let's not go that way. Oh, there he is. Just swinging his hammer. <laughs> I think we unlock this shortcut. Except I think we're gonna run right into the hammer guy. Ooh yeah. Just keep going. I got hit by one of the werewolves. So uh do we have to get somewhere? Ooh. What's the skull? Treasure. Crystallized remains of a sharp fanged creature. Okay. I guess we just sell that to the merchant eventually. So I wonder if this has treasure hidden around like RE4 does. Oh, this is a dead end. Excuse me. Need to get through. I'm trying not to waste the shotgun, but like, it's the only thing that knocks them down. Uh, where's the gate we came from? I think we can go back that way? Yeah, this one here. Uh, except this is a dead end, isn't it? Yeah, this is where we got knocked down. Okay, so if I block a hit, you can then hit space to knock him back. Oh, okay, this was supposed to happen. I was like, is this a death animation? Werewolves on horses. Is this the equivalent to the village chief Mendez? Kinda looks like Agrid. Where's everybody going? Bingo? I think I already mentioned that in the first episode. When did that happen? Maybe I should do something about this. Wrap it up or something. Perfect. I would say that he's gonna have trouble reloading with three fingers, but... In the first game, well, first game, in Resident Evil 7, he was reloading with his fucking severed stump, so I think he'll do alright with three fingers. <laughs> okay. So, we're in orange, which is not great, but we survive. So before we follow that lady, he came from, like, over here-ish? I don't remember if this was blocked before. Okay, well, I guess he was just hanging out here, or he came from this gate, which I bet I can't open. Hmm, a fetus with crow wings. Actually, that looks like the, uh, the sigil we saw earlier that I thought was a tree. And it's locked. We need the creepy bone charm key to get through there. So, the village is on fire now. Is that just gonna go out? 
if we have to keep coming back here. And was it the werewolves that were firing fire arrows at the village? So we've seen another one of these before. We're going to need a key for that. Excuse me. In life and in death, we give glory. Uh, hello? You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. Didn't you see all those werewolves? Wow. Hey, can you hear me? Oh, it's you. The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose! Yes. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. Uh, how long ago about? was that? The monsters? How long was I unconscious in the snow? The castle bell heralds danger. They're coming! <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again! <laughs> Rose is here? <laughs> Ask not for whom the bell tolls, Ethan. It tolls for us all. Alright, well that door's locked now. She just casually laughed and locked us out as he stood there and watched. So yeah, like... Was Chris Redfield already under their control at the time? And that's why he brought the kid here? Or is that just a coincidence? Louisa, is this your house? Or is this the crazy witch's house? Yeah, there's the, the tree fetus. Which I still think is related to the mold. Oh, there's that god creature. Oh, great lichens, the fabled monster wolves of old. May they come to eat our flesh. May they come to tear us apart. Yeah, so I believe they're just called lichens in this. The werewolfy villager enemies. All right, well, let's just loot this person's house since they're not around. Another lockpick. I'm guessing those mostly just have ammo in them. Also, another thing that RE7 had was those treasure maps. You know, where it would be like a photo and you have to kind of figure out where in the mansion it is. So I wonder if those are going to come back. All right. Village Square. Maiden of War. So, we came in from this side, kind of like this way, even though we can't get back there, but most of the map is still Fog of War. I don't know if this is the whole map of the game or just of this area. It'd be pretty big if it was just this area, even if this is the hub area. Okay, well, that's blocked. That just doesn't open for no apparent reason. Guessing we need a crank for these wells, because we've already seen one of those before. Okay, what about the spooky basement? Nope, that also doesn't open. I kind of want to change the FOV, because it is pretty tight. Like, just a little bit wider would be nice. Even if it's intentionally made like that to be claustrophobic. I think they said that about RE7's first-person FOV, but... I think there is a way to mod it, so that it's a little farther back. I mean, people are already modding in custom models and everything. Since, I guess, the RE engine, you know, has proven to be pretty moddable, so they just are using the same knowledge from 7 and the two remakes to be able to mod this so quickly. Ceremony site. Castle Dimitrescu. I think that's how you pronounce it. I wasn't sure last time, but looking at it, it's just Dimitrescu. Is this going to be locked as well? From the other side, so we're coming out of there from somewhere else. Alright, not a lot of places we can go right now. It'd be nice to find some healing before we get into another fight. Like, that was a pretty dramatic sequence for this early in the game. Of course, it wouldn't be that hard if it wasn't on hardcore, but... We can only take, like, three hits from those lichens without blocking, I think. So actually craft one of these or two 
Did I already have one? I thought I used two in the escape. Some ammo. We offer these goats of warding to protect the village and its people. Any who break them shall feel Mother Miranda's wrath. Well, it looks like a bobblehead collectible to me, so... It just... Just zooped out of existence. I mean, I feel bad for shooting crows, because crows are dope, but... In RE4, they gave you money and stuff. Okay, something in there. So it doesn't seem like a gate we can open. At least not from here. Oh, it did actually drop some money. Thanks, crow. Yeah, they could drop money or ammo or sometimes they'll drop a grenade in RE4. So I figured that would be the case here as well. Okay. Guess this leads to the castle. Guess this leads to the castle. I should go to the castle. I mean, I guess he said that the old lady said that Rose is at the castle. It really looks a bit like Castlevania. Just with the amount of different jutting bits coming out of it. And that door opens. Survey the perimeter before we go in. Where does this lead? Um, this leads behind the other area. There's the scarecrow from the main menu. Oh no. I'm not ready for more combat yet. Maybe we should stay out of the long grass. Fallow plot. There's gotta be some goodies in here. It comes for me. Don't know if he knows I'm here, though. I can't tell exactly where he is and where's the wind. It looks like he's getting closer. More gunpowder. Got one shotgun shell left. Which is a good anti-surprise weapon. Keep my back to the wall. Take it slow, so we don't get jump scared. I see him. Oh, there's actually more than one. Shit. I don't know if I can take two of these guys at once right now. Ow. I seem to have found the dead end. Yeah, headshots don't feel particularly effective. Until they do that. That felt a little more effective. Okay, there's one of them down. I mean, this is a dead end, but it is also means that nothing can come up behind me. Craft that, craft some bullets. Shit, I didn't think he had two swings. Run away. I should have healed instead of running. Yeah, I wasn't expecting him to miss and then go, oh, I can just swing again. Alright, we're back here. I guess I should go in the church before I go over there. But it does feel a bit more open than 7. Because, you know, 7 was a very contained kind of environment. It's very RE1 in that regard.
typewriter. It's weird because the game auto checkpoints, so the typewriters kind of feel unnecessary now. Something I didn't even really realize in my RE7 playthrough. You know, I ended most of my episodes on a typewriter. Should disaster fall upon the village, seek out the crest. One is in the care of the church, the other is at Louisa's house. Okay. Where is Louisa's house? Is that the fallow plot? It looks like it, based on where we just were. So we have our cast here. There is the mutated one. There's the big lady. There's a savior figure. There's the lady with the doll. And there is Heisenberg. The only one whose name I remember aside from Dimitr Dimitrescu. Okay, there's one of the crests. I can't tell if I'm just hearing, like, all kinds of creaking, or if that is actually, like, a bobblehead. Okay, that door just leads to the same spot. Got another well back here. No basement. Alright. So, I don't think I can sneak through here. But then again, I did kind of, like, wander right into that guy. Oh, there's a little... You know, we can get them to follow us here and then try to fight them from this place. Or they're just going to come as soon as they go in here. And gun ammo. Gunpowder. Scrap. And a mine. Okay. Wasn't expecting to find a mine. I think RE5 is the only one that actually had mines in it. And there's even a boss you have to fight with specifically mines. Yep. You see him gently grasping the magazine with his <laughs> two fingers and thumb. There's also some flower just sitting out here. Trying to trigger these guys without getting them all on me at once. I guess getting some free hits in here does make up for their tankiness. Though, having the gun become less accurate after every shot feels a little more out of place in this than it did in 7, because 7 you're fighting like one or two enemies at a time, but if you're fighting a whole bunch here then... Having to stop and pause after every shot doesn't feel great. But then again, this is the starting pistol, so that could change as I find other ones. Alright, we took out one of them. Oh, I can climb. Okay. I was expecting to have to go around. Scrap. Shotgun ammo. Immediately put that in. You never know when we're going to need emergency shotgun. And we have 49 pistol bullets, so I'm feeling pretty good. We made it through that siege without dying, though I was pretty sure I was supposed to die there if it wasn't a cutscene. Like, if I got hit there, I would have died. Okay. So there's still another werewolf. Another lichen out here. Let me go over here. Actually sounds like there's a few more up here as well. Okay, now what is the point of this little hidey hole? 
Maybe I can jump down from the roof? <gasps> if I go straight up here, I can probably avoid some of the ones in the field. Oh, maybe not. Where are you going? <laughs> He's hopping sideways at me. Getting a little bit better at staggering them with the pistol shots. Man, they are very dodgy though. More so than any other fast Resident Evil enemy. Cam fluid. At least they drop useful stuff. But they don't just melt into ammo like all the Ganados in Resident Evil 4. There's still one more in this field. Ah, he doesn't have a third hit. Oh, okay. Guess the shotgun actually did take a chunk out of his health. Okay, I think that's everybody out here. I don't hear any more wolf sounds. Close the door. Please. Please don't tell me there's more that are gonna siege us. What are you doing here? Stay back. Please, don't hurt us. Whoa. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just glad to see normal people at last. Have you seen any other survivors? No. They're all in Louise's house. And she's not answering, and the gate is locked. Quiet girl. He's an outsider. Oh. I mean, pretty sure all those werewolf folk are Shoot, insiders, in so. Can your old man walk? <laughs> Maybe outsiders are better. No. One of the monsters cut him. He's lost a lot of blood. We have to get into Louise's house. Shh. Oh man, me too. I lost a lot of blood when I lost my fingers. Inside. Stay here. Be quiet. Don't move until I get those gates open. <coughs> I'm gonna pour some chem fluid on your head? It's keeping me going. Okay, so yeah, Luis's house must be just... ahead. Doing all right on ammo. Actually, there doesn't doesn't seem to be anything over here. <laughs> Can't climb through this little gap. Or can I climb up here? There we go. Wait, why don't you guys just climb up here? Outhouse. Oh, this one's actually nice. Tiled. That's gotta be fucking cold in the winter. Wow, that was actually really easy. She could have done that in like 30 seconds. Come on, it's clear. Uh, hurry, hurry. But hurry up, it's not that clear. Uh, took your damn time. Oh, you're welcome. He's not used to relying on other people. I'm sorry. We'll be safe in here. Won't we? Probably not. Safer here than out there, that's for sure. Hey, do you know anything about what's going on around here? It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. Nobody's answer. Father? <laughs> we have to get inside. I'm also wondering if that fairy tale at the start is like an old local thing. Just hold on a bit longer, Papa. If they've actually made it into reality instead of it being based on reality, you know, they've created the creatures from the story. 
by choice. There's so much blood. Yeah, we need a screwdriver. Again, I could pour my goop on you if you weren't so stubborn. See? It's good for what ails you. Alright, well, I'll look around. Nope, lock from the other side. Hello? Anybody home? Maybe a familiar voice. Louisa! Open up, it's me, Elena! Stop shouting. You'll draw the monsters. Julian, calm down. Who's this? A friend! Stay back. <laughs> Father, for God's sake, Julian, let us in. No, no, they'll smell the blood. You'll endanger us all. My father will die out here. But that's not my problem. What's going on? These people want to let a dying man into our home. Come now, these people are our friends. Go on, go inside. Come now, this way. You're not from this village. Uh, no. I'm Ethan. Julian, go make yourself useful and check the grounds. I said go! Yulian sounds like he's a 20-year-old IRA member, but he looks like he's in his 40s. If Elena trusts you, then so do I. Come inside, Ethan. Wait here. I'll check on the others. Come inside, but don't come more inside. Louisa, they broke in again. Got more of the livestock. I don't think we'll make it through the winter at this rate. Ernest is still missing, too. We can't find him anywhere. Has Mother Miranda abandoned us? I guess we're just gonna find photo albums all over now. This way. Hold on, I'm not done yet. These are all places we're going to go, or have been already. Wait, was there more? No. Okay. We can save again. So I don't know how much farther we're going to go, but there's probably going to be a plot point here that we can end afterwards. But I'm enjoying this so far. And I'm kind of enjoying Come inside, thinking about the stuff waiting. that it's setting up in terms of the actual gameplay. What the fuck is this? Outsiders, you're gonna get us all killed! Right, Anton! He helped Leonardo and Elena. We were doing fine by ourselves. You couldn't even Please, open a gate. Ethan, take a seat. Is this all that's left? From your entire village? All that's left? All that's left? There is no one left! A worthless invalid, a stupid, wailing bitch, a raging you, alcoholic. You drag a bloody man and an outsider in here like it's nothing and expect to be all safe. There is no safe. Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half. But tomorrow, tomorrow we'll all be dead. Just like her damn husband. <laughs> Put a sock in it, Roxana! That's enough! This house has protected my family for generations. And drunk or not, you are all welcome and safe in here. Just stop being an asshole. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? We don't know. One day we were a quiet, devout village, and the next, the monsters came. The next we were a quiet... Us. Devoured village. And they... They kept coming. Wait, Louisa. And... Where is your husband? Did they... No. N no, he, he is out there. Somewhere. He, he, he went to get help. Oh no, I think yes, he's dead. Yes, that's, <laughs> Pretty sure we met him. That's it, he, he went to fetch help. Let us pray. Was he an old guy with for a him. shotgun? For all of us. Good idea. Come. Gather. Pray with us, Ethan. Great ones, hear our voice. 
together as one in reverence, we call on thee within the endless dark to deliver us into fate's hands. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, so we make our sacrifice and await the light at the end. This village wouldn't happen to be located next to Yarnum. We give you glory, Mother Miranda. No, the tea should be ready. Ethan has nothing to Come say help about me, that. Elena, please. That prayer, I've heard it before. There was an old woman near the graveyard. Give me the hag. <laughs> Some bitch is crazy as a bag of rats. There is wisdom in her devotion, though. And I hope it protected her as it shall protect us. <laughs> He's Wolfwood. What's wrong? Are you okay? No! Father! Elena, no, stay back! No, let me go! Ethan, the only person with a gun, does nothing to help. There is actually nowhere to go. <laughs> Let him go! Elena? I said no! Oh my god. I'm so sorry, Father. Well, at least someone's capable. Hey, that wasn't your father anymore. You did the right thing. Elena, Elena, no! There's nothing you can do! Papa! This entire place is collapsing! Boy, that cast really didn't last long. You couldn't save him. He was already gone. Leave me alone! No, we're getting out of here. Together. I mean, if the lichenism I gotta get out is here. infectious, we're going to have a problem as well, considering he bit a chunk out of our hand earlier. That means we've got the wolf, too. Unless the mold gives Ethan immunity? Again, we don't know what kind of viruses we're working with yet. What kind of infectious agents this game is going to be about. But it's a pretty solid guarantee that it's going to be about some kind. Alright, well, after that, we should probably wrap up here. But uh, let's loot Louise's house before we go. <laughs> Since we still need that crest, that means we need a screwdriver. No. Oh. Her savings. Take the screwdriver out of the key ring if you need it. We do indeed need it. Truck key. Okay, so I think this has both in it. You know, we can... Uh, be like, ooh, what's that? Actually, do I have to turn it upside down? Or unbutton it? Alright. Take the shells. I'm glad I didn't waste too many bullets on him if she was going to shoot him anyway. So yeah, let's end it here with the house burning down around us, and next time we'll head out with Elena here, and, uh, I don't know, get closer to the castle, I guess. Until then, y'all take care.